What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Do I have a second to rent? Because I need to rent. What the hell is going on here? Um, the seventh gen Mustang commit. Oh, I mean Mustang commit. I mean Mustang commit. Exactly what I said. This damn Mustang look like a damn Camaro. I don't know what y'all doing stealing my body shape. Look at this over the fender look. Huh? The front canard area, front bumper, facial look. Come on, man. The only difference I can say is, okay, the interior. I like the joint, the, the, the bigger screens. I like the touch screens. I'm a technologist from my monomical person. So I understand that. Okay, I get that. But come on, Ford. That's some stuff. How do y'all steal the full look of the Camaro? First of all, big shout out to Chevy executives, Chevy designers, all you big ballers, rich people out there. Cool, auto engineers, design engineers, and all that stuff. Automotive, automotive engineers, cool. But Chevy, come on, man, y'all can like, y'all can't sue them. I want to know what y'all think in the comments below. Like real stuff, real talk. In the comments below, what do y'all think about this damn um, Ford Mustang? What do you guys think about um, this whole look? Is it flattering or is it offensive? Is it flattering because, hey, they got some things, some looks like, like Chevy? Is it offensive because, hey, they, they look like they stole some looks from Chevy? I want to know. I definitely want to know what do you guys think on that because this that's super crazy, man. That is really, really crazy that um, that's what they decided to do. Uh, me as a Chevy guy, I'm offended because Chevy and Mustang shit look so alike. It pisses me off because I like the difference in looks. I really like that big standout difference. The more different they look, the better. Um, and it gives those buyers, it gives the American buyers that choice of, hey, I want a Mustang, or hey, I want, you know, the old fifth gens were boxy. The, the Mustangs looked a little more slender, but they were still thin. Challengers were just fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want the fat cat, then that's what you can get. But now there's no differentiation, uh, if I even said that right, but there's no there's no difference. These cars are starting to get smaller, more narrow, and looks the same, same curvature. Uh, like I said, look at the hips, same curvature on there. I mean, I love, I love, I really do love the interior. Um, that's pretty nice on the car. You know, I give them that. We're still sticking with the Recaro seats. It looks like the, it's not really as as aggressive as I would like it to be, but maybe the GT6, whatever, 50, I don't know, Mustangs, I'm not a Ford guy, but maybe the more track sportier the version is, the better the seats are. But uh, I'm, I'm still in shock, I'm still in awe, and I'm not, I'm not excited about the similarities from this Mustang, um, the seventh gen Mustangs to the sixth gen Camaros. I know we talked about the sixth gen Camaros being the last but i really think chevy you should do one one last shebang maybe just one year seventh gen and give us a modern updated interior um i know the 2021s 2022s i think we even have some 23s out there they have the uh the wireless capability for carplay but i would like a bigger screen i would like the because right now we have a nice size screen all right, I'll post a picture. This is what the interior looks like if you get, especially for the ZL1. We have a nice screen in the middle that's between the driver and the passenger side, but we still have that digital tachometer kind of feel, and I'm over that. Like, that tachometer crap, I'm over. I want it full digital. I want it to connect. I like how the Audi does it. I like um, Ferrari even has screens for the passenger to see speed, acceleration, and numbers like that to make it a passenger car. You know, I'm, I'm ready for something different. The C8 is a driver's car. The passenger's got all that room, and the driver's, you, you got that cockpit feel. Um... Now the seventh gen, I can give props what props are doing. Yeah, they did their thing, even though I'm mad at Ford for doing it. But hopefully this puts the Chevy in the right direction. I know we're thinking about going electric and stuff like that, but hopefully this can push them in the right direction. Um, if Chevy wants to please the EPA and also please its buyers, please the EPA by making it more fuel friendly, um, smaller injectors, less power, and offer crate motors or something. Um, I don't know to allow to allow owners and buyers to upgrade outside of the the factory portion. <laughs> Anyways, short and sweet, man. Let me know what you think. Again, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, and let's go from there. Until next time, guys. Don't forget 
you're not watching i stay joshing it's been a while it's been a minute but uh let's talk about it let me know in the description what you guys think about this car plus 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 bitch i love this way yeah bitch i love the gleese mm.